Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Clearfield here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about hamstring sciatic syndrome. And so a lot of people are familiar with the sciatic nerve uh, and uh, there's, the sciatic nerve can get entrapped in several different areas. So the sciatic nerve exits the spine and then it comes down through the pelvis and then it can get entrapped at the piriformis, but another common area is at the level of the hamstring. So the hamstring comes up and attaches at the ischial tuberosity, our sit bone right over here. If we have an injury to the hamstring, such as a partial tear, as you'll see in the case that we have, then sometimes it can develop some scar tissue adhesions, fibrous tissue that can cause sciatica down the leg. So what we did for this patient is we did a nerve hydrodissection procedure to free up the sciatic nerve, and then we did platelet-rich plasma plus what we, uh, uh, fiber and scaffold to be able to repair that partial tear of the hamstring tendon. So check it out. First, the nerve hydrodissection procedure was performed. The patient was scanned with a musculoskeletal ultrasound, identifying the neuroanatomy of the sciatic nerve at the level of the hamstring and ischial tuberosity. Then the area was cleaned up, numbed up, and the sciatic nerve was properly hydrodissected away from any of the scar tissue surrounding it. Then the patient was repositioned to identify the hamstring insertion on the ischial tuberosity. There was a partial tear, and so first we filled this tear with a fibrin clot scaffold, and then after PRP was injected on top of this, as well as around the hamstring tendon to help promote the healing of the hamstring tendon. 